Hello, all you beautiful viewers out there. Today, welcome here to this video. It's a new installment of Neat Games with Neat Gaming. And I'm here today to talk about the video game Bioshock 2. I uh, played the first one when it came out, and by God, it's one of my favorite games of all time. Then I uh, never really picked up the second game when it came out. I bought it a few years later, sat on the shelf for a while, because I don't know why. I'm a huge Bioshock fan, I just never played it. And then, uh, this past summer, I uh, decided I'd pick it up and go through and play the game on hard mode first try. And just, you know, get my poop pushed in. But it didn't really happen that way. I kind of really enjoyed it and really just, uh, had an outstanding time playing this game. This is me encountering my first Big Daddy in the campaign. So, spoiler alert if you haven't played it, there's a Big Daddy in there. And, um... I actually ended up killing it my first try on uh, hard difficulty, which was kind of, I'm not going to say disappointing, because I kind of did set myself up there, and I um, had full everything before I started, so I felt like I had prepared, but uh, it was a little interesting. So this game is in Rapture, like the first one, but this game starts uh, later on, basically, so... You play as a big daddy that was there before the fall of Rapture, and then uh, in the first cutscene you get shot and killed before Rapture falls as a big daddy, and then you wake back up as a big daddy um, after Rapture has fallen, after the events of the first game take place. I'm not sure exactly how many years it is, but I know you were dead for around 10 years, so I'm not quite sure when you woke up, because the fall of Rapture was around... Uh, the new year of 1959. I'm not quite sure when this game takes place, and I didn't bother to look it up, because that's not what I'm going to talk about. I read the uh, Bioshock book called Bioshock Rapture, and it definitely ties in very well with this game and the first game. The stories are all very um, uh, fluid. like They make a lot of sense together, and the characters, like uh, our friend Sinclair here who's talking, they um, did a very good job holding them together and uh, creating an even more compelling story than the first game because it builds upon what was there. I like this game. I've heard a lot of negative things about it. I've heard a lot of positive things about it. I have nothing negative to say about it. I think this game's amazing. If you like the first Bioshock, if you like first-person adventure gameplay, if you like sort of a first-person, not really RPG style, but not really just a straight shooter, meaning you have to do some extra things. You have to adopt a little sister like I do here, give myself a little bit of an achievement for adopting my first little sister in Bioshock 2. If you like that sort of thing, you should give this game, or the first one if you haven't played it, a try. These games are um, bunches of fun. I had a blasty blast going back to the first one and grabbing all the achievements. I had a blasty blast going through this one and grabbing all the single player achievements in one go through, which is possible, which I I like that. I like if you crank the difficulty all the way up, you should be able to do everything in one playthrough. I like that. Now, this game has a multiplayer component, which is uh, buckets of fun, but it has a lot of multiplayer achievements, which is kind of its only downfall to me, are the multiplayer achievements. But I'm not here to whine about anything. I love this game. Y'all should go play it if you like anything to do with Bioshock. Alright, that's it for me now. Have a nice day.